Hey everyone, my name's Stephen O'Reilly, welcome to the channel. Today I want to continue on from what I was talking about last week and I want to talk about the challenges that I think I'm going to be facing with this new project of mine. Alright, so here's the thing, if I want to be able to fit in time for this YouTube video, I'm going to have to sacrifice time somewhere else. And the likes of Casey and Cody did it by cutting away sleep. The likes of Peter and Manny, they just do fewer videos per week. So how am I going to fit that in to my schedule? Now, everyone's routine is different and unique and that's what makes it fascinating. I'm always interested in learning what everyone else does in order that I can pick up some nugget of information or a new idea that I can then apply to my own. The main big challenge is that I work five days a week. So for eight hours, five days a week, I can't do anything. Then you need to try and consider commuting in the mornings and the evenings. Then when I get home, that's family time. I do dinner, spend time with the kids, and you end up cleaning up after the kids. And then it's time for bed, and you do it all over again. So then my two days off get spent with the fiance and the kids. So I'm not gonna cut away time from them to do videos. It's not fair on them, it's not fair on me. I wanna spend time with them. In the evenings, again, fall into the trap of dinner and tidying up and all of that chores. So, all I have to sacrifice is sleep, just like Casey and Cody did. So at the moment, I've tried to cut away an hour in the morning. So I get up an hour before everyone else, and I try and do something towards this YouTube channel. Where it's just simply planning the video, or editing a video, or going out and shooting a video. However, as we come into winter and it gets darker and colder, it's getting a lot harder to actually get up and do that. So this is me. Someone who has no skills, an awful lot of excuses and challenges, but still has a lot of ideas and things that he wants to push through and bring out to the world. Over here is that goal. I developed YouTube channel with a variety of content five days a week. And all I can do is get out and build it. Build it as I go and hopefully I will, the more I do, I will get better and better. And it will be quicker and quicker and easier. So that when it comes to just getting up for an hour, I'm able to get more out of that one hour than I would in a week. But most importantly, I think the biggest challenge that I'm facing is accepting that it's going to take time. If you look at where YouTube started over 10 years ago, you had the likes of Philly D, Jenna Marbles, John and Hank Green, just posting videos from their bedrooms on a webcam on a computer. It was very low quality, and the topics weren't really of any big things. They didn't have AdSense, they didn't have all these numbers and subscribers to be concerned about. They just made stuff. And then nowadays you've got people who have had 10 years of experience working in the film industry or making content for companies and then they come into YouTube and it's developed and it's all polished and well produced. And everyone thinks, oh, well that's now the new norm. So, in order to get started, you need to have this. And it's not perception, and that's the new standard, and it's not. You can still start off from scratch on YouTube, just like they did 10, 15 years ago. And it's nothing against those people who have done that, who have worked for a long time in developing their skills and technique, and then they decide to bring it to the YouTube form. There's nothing wrong with that. It's because of those people that I'm 
doing this is because of those people I've learned how to do this but there's this people's perception that you can't just start from scratch and share you have to build it up for 10 years and then you can share this is why I love this no small creator movement that Cody Warner started there's so many people who just want to start from scratch and just share as they go it's just as a side job they don't have 10 years experience in production company they want to start from scratch just like Fiddy D or John and Hank Green did we just want to show our work as we build it it's great to see so many people who are sharing ideas supporting each other in pushing each other to their goals of creating something whether it's just talking to a camera while you walk down the street there's no reason why you have to have the 10 years and has to be polished straight out of the gate you can build it up just like Fiddy and Hank and John did and then when it comes to maybe 10 years down the line and we get to be the forefront of YouTube and people are asking how did you do it? what's your key to success? Well, we can just turn around and tell people to just look at the YouTube channel. All my work is there. Just watch it and you'll learn.